My rank is Staff Sergeant Miguel Chacon. I'm with the 3rd Civil Affairs Group out of Great Lakes, Illinois. So during uh, exercise Balakatan, our job has been to engage with the civil environment, um, mostly through planned civil engagements, but also we've done just some impromptu civil engagements out in town, just meeting with the locals, trying to get a, a feel for what they know about Balakatan, um, what their prior experience was with Balakatan in 2016 when, they, when it happened here. Um, and just through, again, civil engagements, doing some civil reconnaissance of the local area to better understand, one, how does the civil environment affect Balakatan operations, but also how does Balakatan operations affect the local populace. So doing civil affairs activities here in San Jose, uh, Antique, Philippines, helps us conduct civil affairs and other operations because people are, it's different environments, but people are you know, human beings at the end of the day. We all have those fundamental commonalities between everyone. So engaging people, getting to know about their families, meeting with kids, it's very, very similar. So. Um, it gives us that experience uh, both in a interpersonal communication type of way but also just helps us understand how everything plays on a big scale you know from the smallest town village barangay you know to a national global level it all works whether it's directly or indirectly there's effects it all kind of works together so Working along the uh, United States Army has enabled the civil affairs team here by providing a different perspective. We don't uh, often, I haven't often worked with the Army, so it provides a different perspective just as far as their training goes and their capabilities. Um, and it's good because on a, again, a big picture, it's good for the Philippines to see us as a U.S. armed forces, not necessarily Marine Corps, Army, Navy, Air Force but they see us as, as a whole, as a united, you know, armed forces. So uh, I think it's both beneficial for us and then beneficial for the locals to, to see us as a whole. Us working with the Armed Forces of the Philippines is the key to making all of this possible. Number one, on a security standpoint, we don't go anywhere without them, but they are obviously from here, they are the Philippines Armed Forces. So they have key information and buy-in into the different uh, cities, um, barangays. Um, a lot of them grew up in the local area, so they know more about this, obviously, than we will. So we rely heavily on them to, uh, one, provide us that key, that access, but also, again, the big picture is to work with them. We are allies, we are partners, and it's important for them to you know, even though it's me specifically that they're meeting, they know that I'm, you know, United States Marine, and they will, that good relationship will carry on to the next Balakatan and the next teams uh, that, that work with the AFP and vice versa. So building these relationships now will affect us as a Marine Corps by uh, setting a solid foundation, right? If we were able to work together uh, in peacetime, you know, if, if the time comes when we need to pick up arms together for whatever reason, we will, again, have that foundation. Um, again, it's kind of a generalization of it, but when they see United States Marine or U.S. Armed Forces, you know, if they have a good relationship with us, our civil affairs team on the ground, I think they will assume or to carry that experience with them for future operations. Again, whatever the case, they'll know that we're professional, that we're good you know, people, and again, most importantly, that we're, we're allies and we're, we're on the same team. Um, and, and that is all built on what we're doing now. What we do here as a civil, in a civil affairs team enables commanders on the decision making by providing that civil, uh, environment details. So our job is to, again, conduct targeted and planned civil engagements and civil reconnaissance around strategic areas. And uh, again, we do that by talking to people, uh, meeting key leaders, uh, meeting the locals, and just understanding what a typical day is here for, for a Filipino. Um, 
by getting those details and providing that information to the commander, they're able to make better decisions and understanding that their actions have second and third order effects that many times are overlooked, especially the, the civilians. Mission accomplishment is number one, but at what cost? And a lot of times, uh, you know, the little people, if you will, the civilians, the people who are, are impacted the most get overlooked. So that's our job to make sure that that doesn't happen. <laughs> Civil Affairs is a force multiplier by the information that we can bring. We are on the ground, we are meeting with people, we are walking around the barangays talking to men, women and children who live here and we're gathering all that information through again targeted uh, interviews, civil reconnaissance, things of that nature and trying to get the best picture possible of the environment. And then we do different, uh, we have different tools that we use to better understand what are areas of stability, instability, um, biggest problems, biggest concerns, areas of strength, things of that nature. And we're able to compile that into a information that's provided to the commander so that they can understand the civil uh, environment and then ultimately make better informed decisions. Being a reservist and being able to support Balakatan is a great opportunity. It's not every day that I'm in the Philippines, obviously. It's great to be able to get these experiences. Personally, when I joined the Marine Corps, that was one of the things that I wanted to accomplish was to travel, uh, see the world. It's because the world is a lot bigger than my small hometown of a thousand people or whatever. But being here enables me personally and the reservists to, again, understand the big picture of what we do as a Marine Corps and how the actions that we take as individuals affect a much larger picture uh, that sometimes we don't understand. But uh, coming out here and being able to see how other people live, you know, the, the good and the bad, uh, really brings a different perspective that we can carry as reservists to our civilian occupations as well. I do think that I'm more able to do my job as a civil affairs specialist, as a, especially as a reservist, because I have a nine to five job where I work with civilians and non-military people. So that uh, perspective, having those different switches, I know when I need to turn it on and you know be Staff Sergeant Chacon, uh, who's in charge of a platoon, for example versus when I'm in my civilian job and it's just me, myself, and I, you know, working on my nine to five, paying the bills, taking care of my family, et cetera. But um, I'm able to, reservists are able to provide that almost civilian aspect, which obviously is in the name civil affairs, that sometimes gets lost when your nine to five is working on a base, you know, with other Marines or uh, U.S. Armed Forces. So civil affairs as a reserve function um, specifically benefits Marforez by, again, civil affairs specifically uh, offers that civilian side. Uh, a lot of my colleagues are lawyers and they work in the medical field. I work in, personally I work in insurance and, and as a claims adjuster. So I, I deal a lot with uh, people during difficult situations which really ties into uh, human uh, humanitarian assistance, disaster relief operations that we do. Um, so it really brings that human civilian element. Um, additionally, this is an AT, an annual training for me. So I'm able to be away for two to three weeks uh, without too much disruption in my civilian life. And we're able to accomplish the mission in this area. And you don't have to be here. I don't have to be here for six months to a year, however long deployment to accomplish that mission. Um, I think the timeline, two to three weeks, is sufficient to accomplish the mission and um, and provide what what we need to Marfo Res.